all women fall into three categories when they're ovulating. You were either part of the dirty damsels, the trained tramps, or the wicked wenches. The dirty damsels are victims to their ovulation. It makes them do irrational things like text their ex or make large purchases, even spontaneous adventures. They will try to find something or someone to relieve it, to feed it. They are women in heat, honey. They just turned to Wolverine. Suddenly they're open to doing anal, like girl, get her a Snickers bar. You're not you and you're horny. They are dangerous, but they always have a good time. They're just like, oh gee, help me. The trained tramps notice the urges and let it subside. They kind of like to edge a little bit. They're like, I see the mailman. I'm not gonna fuck the mailman. I'm going to observe the mailman and think about the mailman later. They know the way of the woods. They kind of treat it like their period too. They have it on their app, they plan for it, so they know, oh yeah, I'm gonna be crazy in the next couple of days. That's why. And they don't act on urges. They self-indulge with discipline. And if they do have a partner, they're not more promiscuous. They're just like, I want to share how good I feel with you. The wicked winches channel their sexual urges. They'll put into their hobbies, their talents, their interactions just to get what the fuck they want. It's embedded in their energy. Like you can just feel it. It's how they talk and how they dress. They're listening to audio erotica, sexy music on the way to work while they're getting ready, while they're cooking. They let it flow through them without overcoming them. They think about the idea of sex more than actually doing it. And if they are in a relationship, they are in their most heightened state. They already thought about what they're gonna do to you because they had all day to. Me personally, I am the leader of the Wicked Winches and I did not choose my station. It was given to me by the king. 